Hello, welcome to another tutorial with me, Mike Smith at ADSR Pro. Uh, today in Cubase 7.5, I'm going to show you about the Arranger track. Uh, a lot of people tend not to use this. Um, it took me a while to get to use it. and But to be honest, it's a brilliant, brilliant tool. Um, once you've got a track going, uh, to test out different variations without copy and pasting loads of parts across normally what you might do is uh, grab this full section copy it across that might be a chorus and, and sort of rearrange your track that way um, arrange your track allows you to do it a lot easier so first of all we right click in the area to create add an arrange your track I shall put it to the top so we can see what we're doing now what you can do is if you select the pencil tool we can draw in elements or sections if you like of our track so for instance and put that to a quantized value of one uh, would say that would be the intro uh, that could be the lead up to the breakdown that's the next section um, another section let's go to apes do that and I'm going to turn that one to sixteenths. Okay. So now, if we open up the Arranger Chain Editor, here you can see these are all the parts that we've created, um, obviously in chronological order. Uh, now, what we do here is create a chain. What I'll do is create a, a pretty simple chain just to give you the idea. So we'll actually pretty much go in chronological order for now. So you can just drag and drop double click so let's see let's drag it across D then E and then F so it's actually going to play as it normally would in order however what we're going to do here we've got a repeat section so this little section here that we created there E what we'll do is we're gonna have that play eight times that next section will play 16 times and then we want to go back to let's say D so now when we play the track back watch what happens So there you go, we've kind of almost done a little bit of a remix um, sort of on the fly. Really, really handy tool. Let's just uh, see if we can let's remove all of them. So let's try again. Let's maybe start at, let's start at C. And we'll play that one twice. And then we'll go into D, we'll play that once go to A then let's go D E let's do that one four times let's do that one eight times then go back to D and let's play that see how that sounds They can see it's playing it a second time into D. Into A. Back into D. So 
there you go we've done uh, almost like a complete new arrangement or remix if you like within Cubase and we've not had to copy paste anything again once you've got uh, quite a lot of your track done this is brilliant because your effects and everything work as they should from each section and yeah brilliant brilliant uh, real good way of doing like I say a, maybe a radio edit of a track or um, an extended version so really really handy tool within Cubase not a lot of people use it and it, it's a shame to be honest because it's such a powerful tool and again speeds up your whole production process so I hope you found this useful like I said if you've got any uh, questions do get in touch and of course as always please subscribe to my channel so until next time bye bye